The secret to good dating, and I am the expert on oh. secrets of good dating, Are you? is uh-huh. being secret. able to quickly identify something that you both have in common. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Whether that's, hey, I smelled you from across the room, and oh. I'm pretty sure we use the same athlete's foot cream. Oh, oh my God. Am I wrong? I mean, Gross. I feel like that would have a distinct smell. Yeah, but then she's like, no. And you're yeah. like, uh-oh. <laughs> must have been someone Just, else. Yeah. Oh. Or, hey, I smelled you from across the room. Oh, still smelling everyone. Yeah. Have you hung out with my dad recently? Because oh. <laughs> he uses Old Spice aged cheddar, too. Oh, oh my God. Is that what I'm picking up right now? Yeah. Briny. I'm just saying. Age cheddar, dude. You, you never know what strange thing might amazingly bring you and that cute stranger together. Yeah, okay. And today's call had over 100 people feeling that same instant connection. Whoa. All because of the event that they attended together. You're going to hear what it was. Are they all wearing mold spice? <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> it's coming up in your second date update next. <laughs> Are dating apps officially dead? Mm. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. I mean, I've heard people complain about them a lot. Yeah. Like, Brooke says she can't get hers to swipe right <laughs> fast enough. I don't Road have Road speeds one, are too slow. Yeah. And Jose keeps emailing the help desk asking if they can add in a bikini barista mm. search feature. Oh, yeah. I wish. I yes. know. So, Where's that hashtag? Don't worry, I found them all on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, not everybody is thrilled <laughs> with them, but apparently there's a new movement that's happening right now that I didn't know about. What's that? People are banding together to get off the apps altogether and try really? something completely different, which is how today's caller, Troy, wound up meeting a young woman the other day. Let's learn about it. Troy, welcome to the show. Hey, guys. How you doing? Good. 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 Whenever you say, Jeffrey, meeting a young woman, I either picture this yes. guy's going to be a grandpa <laughs> I know, or <laughs> no. we need to check somebody's ID. Like, it's a weird, you know. I'm just talking about relative to the people in this room. Oh! It's probably a pretty wow! young woman. So. Wow! Tell us more about this <laughs> wonderful young lady that you met. What's young her name? Lady. Uh, so the lady that I met is Melanie. Okay. okay. All right. And I'm curious to see how you met her. Yeah. What's this movement that you were kind of telling me about in the email? Well, so it's pretty interesting, to be honest. Um, my friends told me about this new thing that people are doing. It's called Unfit Run Club. What is it again? Say it one more time. Unfit Run Club. Unfit Run Club. Oh, I love it. That's funny. Yeah. It's yeah. for people who aren't like runners like yeah. Alexis. Exactly. But it's just get a reason to meet new people. Yeah, that's awesome. It's fun. And they usually meet at like a bar, I feel like. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I've seen like the Sofa to 5K groups too, mm-hmm. you know. That's yeah. rad. Good for you. So how did this work? Yeah, so basically, you know, instead of trying to meet new people on dating apps, which has been stressful, uh-huh. they're starting to plan these big get-togethers. Um, oh, and, so wait, it's not just for running. This is actually to meet other singles as well? The way it's supposed to be is we stop occasionally, we take some pictures, oh. uh, mingle, keep going. Okay. And then at the very end, we all go to the bar. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hey, this, so, it's right. nice because it's like a little more casual than like a speed dating event where you have two minutes to talk to That's everybody true. in the room and there's all this pressure. This is like mingle at your own pace. But it's unfit, so I it depends on how out of breath you are during yeah. the run. Yeah. Yeah. You're able to talk to anybody. <laughs> there's the one person who comes in an hour later than everybody else, but sure. <laughs> I mean, sweaty. there's big groups of people walking too. Oh, so you can absolutely okay. do that if you want to. You know, you're yeah. not my mandatory for you to actually jog and break. This the sweat. sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like, Once walking was involved, like yeah. the, the slow pace, Jose's all in I now. I just mean anybody at any level can join this. Yeah, okay. Cool. So tell us about how your unfit run club event went. Um. Well, I went with some of my friends. Okay. okay. So you had backup okay. on this. All right. Even better. It's a win-win. Oh, yeah. And were you all looking to meet somebody, or were they just totally coming as your wingman? Do you mean, are, are, Brooke, are you asking, are they all trying to meet one woman? No. Or did they? Because that <laughs> could be an same. option, too. <laughs> Not the same. I, I just mean, like, is everybody's intentions the same here, or are they just coming just for you? Okay. Well, they checked it out before. They heard me on dating apps still, and they said, do some check this out. Okay. Okay. Oh, is there a recommendation? Okay. And so you said yeah. you met someone named Melanie. How did that happen? Yeah, so once we got to the bar, I met this girl, Melanie. Right. And okay. we started talking and chatting there. Okay, and were you guys able to connect pretty well? Well, yeah, she was a really sweet 
all down to earth. So we cracked a couple of jokes about the dating app. So we definitely connected. Ah, I was oh. hoping it was like she was not nice, but you still went out to the whole <laughs> game, you know? No, actually, she was awful. Yeah, <laughs> that would be really weird. <laughs> Just but kidding. You said you both bonded over not being on dating apps anymore. Yeah, correct. Yep. Oh, okay, okay, so she had, and did she explain why she had given it up? Was it the same reason? I think everyone has the same um, reason for yeah. <laughs> I, I delete mine every two months. And oh, then you I'm do. Back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How was the conversation with her? The conversation went pretty good, you know, okay. but then kind of ended in about 10 minutes, I would say. We didn't okay. have a lot of time yet. Uh, 10 only minutes? 10 Did you minutes? say 10 minutes, bro? Why so quick? Well, if you think about it, I'm at the bar, it's a lot of people. I'm with my friend. She's with her friends. Oh. You know? Yeah, if you were getting your friends, okay. you'd like, split off to talk to each other. Okay, so... Yeah, you... but, but, but one thing I'll tell you I did do, I did get her number. Well, that's yeah, good. Oh. Okay. Did you ask her for the number, or did you just take Uh-oh, it? Uh-oh, yeah, did you just get it? <laughs> take it <laughs> no, no, I asked her. I asked her. I told her I want to continue. You know? Okay. That's okay, good, nice. man. So, did you guys go out again, then? No. Or so, actually go out for a first time? So this is where, you know, I'm stuck now and I need your help a little bit. But I texted her. I said, hey, you know, it's Troy, the guy from the bar and, and you know, the unfit event that we went to. And she goes, blank, ghost. <laughs> no answer. Oh, no answer. Oh, no. Maybe she just wasn't into the event. Like, as in general, maybe she wanted to go back to the dating apps after it. Like, if Alexis, if you went to something like this, do you think you would actually be into it? Well, no, but I don't really like runner guys. I'm kind of traumatized after running well, with them. Well, this yeah. is unfit runners. So this the... is non-runners. That's true, but okay. I mean. These are guys that She's are like, like that's, <laughs> that's true, but they're slow. So, <laughs> I mean, how sweaty were you when you were talking to her at the bar? You um, know? Good like, question. That's a good question. Hey, on a scale of one to ten, I was probably like a two and a half. Okay. 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 So, so you, were, a sweat, but you were a walker. Got it. All right. Okay. Oh. Wow. We can't get through one of these without Brooke shaming the male person, so I'm glad we got that out of the way. It happens. So oh, now we're going to call Melanie phone. here in just a minute. <laughs> we'll reach out and see if we can get you a second date update. And maybe she'll shame you a little bit more before what? we get into it. She gens it when she likes you, though. No, <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm a big sweater. We're going to do What type of guy in yoga keeps here. getting worse. Oh. We're going to come back for your second oh, date update right after this. <laughs> it's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. And if you've ever been to a charity 5K run, mm. you may have seen Brooke there on the sidelines <laughs> booing the people who finished last because they walked or didn't walk fast enough or had crutches after their amputation. Why were we already laughing? Like, we knew what? Jeff was Because we've all seen that happen before. We've no. been there no. next to her wallet goes I on. I have done charity 5Ks with Brooke. And I often host them and encourage people yes. and get excited. To, to run and not walk. And we know. <laughs> Do you even want to cure this disease? (laughs) Pick up the pace, slow pokes. I've heard it. You don't have to repeat it here. The only reason reason I bring it up now is because there was a meetup of the Unfit Run Club, as they call it. His words, not mine. Thank you very much. That's the name of the club. The whole point of it is to help people get off of the dating apps and get back to meeting people in real life. They do theirs at the park while they all run or sometimes walk around yeah, getting totally. to know each other. And that's where Troy met a woman named Melanie the other day. Oh, Brooke has already gone on record to say, <laughs> just listening to Troy's voice, she knows that he's a walker who does not sweat enough. <laughs> you can't say that. Alexis asked if he was really sweaty when he met Melanie, and he said he was at a two. A two means that you're not running really hard. It's not a bad thing, <laughs> no, Troy. That's you're just I, Troy, she hard. calls you out of shape. No, what do you I think? I did it, Troy. <laughs> well, I'm not out of shape. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Troy. Some people just wear deodorant and don't sweat as much, bro. Okay, okay. I am a big sweater, all, all right. right? So, again, I, I've done like this on the last 40 of Jeez. these calls we've had to do, but once again, I apologize for what my co host, bro. We They're... are still going to try and get you a second okay. date here. Yes. Okay, Troy? Yes. All right, sounds good. I mean, I'm pretty positive. I think you guys could pull it off, and it went well. All right, so we're about to call her right now, but just in case you're tuning in for the first time, Melanie ghosted Troy after they had hung out for 10 minutes at the very end of this event. Mm -hmm. So she may not even remember him, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Not not it is a bad thing. I mean, he said there was tons of people there. I'm positive enough to believe that she will remember (laughs) you, but you know what? Brooke has to get that last jab in. Here we go. it's not a jab. (laughs) I'm memorable, trust me. Yeah, okay. sure are, I buddy. believe that, Troy. Let's right. sure. <laughs> dial Melanie's oh, number. Let's winking. see if she picks up. She's not even going to talk anymore. <laughs> 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 
Hello. Hey, we're looking to speak with Melanie. And this is Melanie, my calling. Oh, yeah, you man. may. This is a radio show called Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. Even when you say my name. Emphasis it's just on the Brooke. With, yeah, Brooke. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Hi, Melanie. <laughs> We're really happy to talk to you. Welcome to Brooke and <laughs> yeah. Jeffrey. Thank you for answering and being here. Hi. Um, <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're awake. Sorry, I know this is probably weird, but um, we're doing a segment right now called a second date update, and we're trying to help out one of our listeners that you met the other day at something called the Unfit Run Club. Okay, yeah, I was there. Yeah. Okay. yeah okay. Sounds like a fun time, a real creative way to meet other singles. Yeah. Well, someone that you met there had a really good time, felt like he had a connection with you. His name was Troy. That's interesting. I met a lot of guys that night. Um, Do you a little bit more specific? Oh. Uh-oh. More specific than his name was Troy? He, uh, yeah. You guys talked for 10 minutes. He was at a sweat level of around two. <laughs> Like, That's he really all we know. He didn't tell us a lot of details about what you guys talked about. But don't gloat right now in front of I'm not the gloating. person. I'm not <laughs> gloating. I'm not gloating. This big smile on your face. I mean, he's he's kind of like a soft spoken, like really nice guy. Yeah. I met a lot of guys that night. Like I was getting a lot of attention that night. Oh, okay, girl. Okay. But, oh, wait. Well, that's great. Remember they bonded over uh, quitting dating apps about oh, how right. bad dating apps oh, are. Yeah. That's yeah. what that's what you all talked about. Oh yes, I I remember him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Wait, see? yeah, but the way that she said yeah, it didn't give me a lot of hope there. What what do you remember yeah. about him? Well, what I remember is that he is a liar. He's a Whoa. liar? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Liar. Okay, well, you, you guys talked for 10 minutes, he said. Yeah, right. It was 10 minutes. Okay, so that's and, the truth. And finished talking, I went over to my friend who recognized him from the dating app, and he still... On them. Oh. oh. What? Yeah, but he maybe is. he just didn't get around to deleting his profile. You know what I mean? Oh, like, oh, yeah, that sounds good, but no. Wow, no? that's a lie. Why yeah. no? Yeah, because he tried to hook up with one of my friends before the event and match with another one of my friends after the <laughs> event. And I promise you, he said to me definitively, I'm never using a dating app again. Okay. He's a liar. He, uh, he's a liar. Yeah, he didn't like add, like, after I hit on your friend, I'm never using it. <laughs> yeah. No stipulations? It, that's why I'm no longer on a dating app, and that's why I am no longer talking to him. Uh, okay. okay. That makes sense. Yeah, like, why lie about I it? I see. Maybe right. you don't. Well, I, I know you're against talking to him on the dating apps, but what about talking to him right Sorry. now over the phone, IRL? Uh, no, thank you. Oh, oh. Sorry well, about that. Yeah, it, it wasn't really a question because yeah. I'm just trying to tell you he is on the phone right now listening right. to this conversation. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Sorry. No. That's how this works. <laughs> no, he's not. No. Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. oh boy. There he is. Oh, and he sorry. sounds very stalkerish. Did you hear it? Yes, I uh, yeah. That was really creepy. Mm. <laughs> he didn't mean yeah. to be creepy. Well, let's give Troy a chance to step in and maybe defend himself a little mm. bit. Troy, go ahead. You have the floor. All right, first of all, you know, I, I'm not a bad guy. I just want to clear that up. She didn't lie, so let me point that out. I'll give her her credit, okay? Uh-oh. Who didn't Wait, lie? who didn't lie? Well, Melanie didn't lie by saying oh, that uh, I was still on the dating app and, and, and whatnot. But, okay, but, so you did? We know, bro. I, I know, but, but I met her for 10 minutes, right? We met for 10 minutes. She gave me her phone number. I texted her, and she's not responding. It kind of like made me realize that this thing might not be working out and let me stick to what I'm doing originally. Wait, 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 wait. wait. She said that you you were on the dating app by the end of the night hitting on her friend. I'm just saying I want to get off the dating apps in theory, but like in general. Okay. Okay. His heart was in the right place. He just he, didn't reply yeah. fast yeah. enough, basically, is what it sounds like. It's a fast-moving world, you know? You got to play with the game, so... What? <laughs> you got to be quick. Troy, no, <laughs> I thought you were coming in as a nice guy, like the guy who I is, like, you. ready to stop playing the games. And I mean, I, I am a nice guy, but, you know, if I find a girl that's ready, you know, to communicate and, and continue the conversation, then... 
of course I'm going to give it everything. But that wasn't the case. You gave her like 15 minutes, it sounds <laughs> like, to respond to a text. He's a creep. that You can hear it in his voice. Okay. I, 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 I don't think we need to go that far, yeah. Yeah. Melody, and shame him for the sound of his voice. He's already been shamed for the amount that he doesn't sweat enough on the show. <laughs> so hey, if I'm a creep, why did your friend, why did your friend match with me then, you know? I, I'm not a creep. I'm just trying to find the right person. So now okay. you're bragging that you're going out with her friend? Well, oh, no. he's not going out. They matched. She didn't return my message either, but I'm open. Okay. Okay. I'm well, open. Yeah. Then it's, it's persistent. Well, let me tell you something, Troy. My friend is a creep, too, so she'll hear from her. Wait, she's a creep. <laughs> that didn't make sense. Are they perfect for each other? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, she's a creep. She's even worse than him. Well, maybe... Oh. Well, maybe okay. you should hook your friend That's up. That's why they match. Well, That's ma- why they match. Maybe okay. your friend and Troy should go out on a date at some point. Can we do that? Can we ask that question? We don't because, need to ask. They'll creep on each other. Naturally. Yeah, it doesn't sound like Melanie is into this uh-huh. at all. But maybe, mm-hmm. Melanie, we could offer to send Troy out with your friend your on creepy. a date that we... Yeah, your creepy <laughs> friend. Your creepy friend. <laughs> on a date that we would pay for. That might work. Really? That no might work. She's yeah. into it. Troy, okay. are you being serious? Yeah, she'll date anyone. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> How are you going to pitch your friend on that? So this yeah. guy that I don't like and is creepy. Well, they already you... matched, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Troy. Wait, 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 wait. Well, wait, wait. well, now you're telling me she'll date anyone. I kind of don't want that. Come on, now. You're <laughs> what? Words, bro. You're so creepy, you don't have a lot of it? options here, dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what you talked me into. I'll do it. Oh, man. <laughs> you are, you're, hard, you are something, Troy. Uh, we've scraped the bottom of the barrel officially, and wow. we are sending you wow. out on a date with Melanie's creepy friend. Oh Yay, I'm happy to. It's going to go great. I can't wait to hear it detail. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. And Troy will be here for you when she goes to you, and we can do a second date update yeah, for her seriously. as well. Hey, 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 Melanie, I just want to say one thing. Hate the game, not the player. Okay. Oh, wait, we're not sure. <laughs> Glad you saved that, okay. bud. Right. You know, you guys, if you guys were on the phone, I would have hung up. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Actually, Thanks for I, your patience. I am going to hang up on everybody yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's your second date update. Goodbye.